Dirt Mile. And gets a great betting score of four, but uh, I am cautious, okay? And the reason I'm cautious is two horses here, the 10 and the five, Complexity and Nick's Go, are the two favorites in the race. And they're also the two fastest horses in the race. Uh, and they're ranked really low on my spreadsheet. So makes me cautious. But there's some reason to be against these horses. Complexity is a one-turn horse. Yes, he's been really fast going a mile. And he's won uh, the Kelso um, recently. Uh, however, that was a four-horse race going one-turn mile. This is a full field going two turns. And it's a short run into that first turn, which complexity doesn't do very often. And, uh, the, you know, the pace is going to be reasonable. Nick's go is going to go from the five hole. Complexity's got to go. Mr. Money's going to go. Uh, so I think, you know, this first turn is going to be a problem for complexity. And is way down on my spreadsheet. Obviously, it looks pretty good in the rank. Gets a B, but I'm going to try to beat complexity. Uh, Nick's Go has turned into a new horse under Brad Cox and could actually improve, but his last race was huge. Um, and, you know, he could bounce off that last race. Uh, and he's another one that, with uh, this class of field, could back up in the stretch. Um, so I think I'm going to take a stand against these horses, just they're not showing any value to me. And look back up here at the top of the sheet. And I got a couple horses I really like, and that's the four and the one. War of Will, you know, kind of doesn't have a race to run in. And you see he's got a PFDS of 0 0.5 because he's been running in, in turf races. Um, and now he's going turf to dirt, but he's been running in tough grade one races. And now, you know, kind of gets a break from uh, that level of competition. Gets an A-plus score, $17 of value. And the other one's our collector, and I like the rail draw. He's going to save ground into, into that first turn. Um, this is a long stretch drive, okay, at Keeneland, going eight for a long. Short run into the first turn, but a long stretch drive. And our collector was super impressive winning the Bluegrass at Keeneland, obviously, beating Swiss Skydiver, who went on to win the Preakness. So our collector... Obviously, his last race wasn't great in the Preakness. He's losing to Swiss Skydiver. But maybe this horse can rebound returning to Keeneland and also is an A-plus with $11 of value. Those are my top two picks. Um, I like both of them. And then Owendell, I think, is just a horse to use underneath. Horse consistently makes its run late, uh, but never seems to be quite good enough to win. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a stand against the 5 and the 10. Hope they back up. And the 1 and 4 um, pass them in the stretch. Good luck.